Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let's look at how to find out the condition of concurrency of three lines. Let us say that there are three lines a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0, a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 and a3x plus b3y plus c3 equal to 0, l1, l2, l3. Now what's the meaning of concurrency? All those three points pass through a single point. That means they have a same point of intersection. Now how to prove that is without any formulas you want to do. Take two lines, find out the point of intersection, substitute it in the third line. You should be able to see that the third line satisfies the point of intersection of first two lines. Let's now find, let's now try to find out the condition of concurrency and represent it in determinant form. For that what we will do, we will take L1 and L2 and we will try to find out the point of intersection. Let us say x1, y1. So we know that the point of intersection of these two lines is nothing but equal to, we have seen already that x1 is equal to by cross multiplication method b1 c2 minus b2 c1 by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 that we have seen by elimination method or cross multiplication method. Similarly y1 equal to c1 into a2 minus c2 into a1 by a1 into b2 minus a2 into b1. So we got the point of intersection of L1 and L2. Now this point should be satisfied by line 3. So let me substitute let me substituting x1 comma y1 r in L3 we will have line 3 we will have so instead of x I have to write x1 so I will write it as a3 x1 plus b3 y1 plus c3 equal to 0 or let's substitute the values now how it looks like we will have a3 into b1 c2 minus b2 c1 by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 plus b3 into c1 a2 minus c2 a1 by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 plus c3 equal to 0 if you take LCM of this, this is nothing but equal to A3 into B1 C2 minus B2 C1 plus B3 into C1 A2 minus C2 A1 plus C3 into A1 B2 minus A2 B1 equal to 0. Now this is nothing but we can write it further as a3 into b1 c2 minus b2 c1 minus b3 into c2 a1 minus c1 a2 plus c3 into a1 b2 minus a2 b1. This is nothing but equal to, it is in the determinant form a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2, a3, b3, c3, which should be equal to 0 to if all these three lines are concurrent. So this is nothing but, statement is nothing but equal to this. You can check that a3 into b1, c2 minus b2, c1 minus b3 into you can see that minus b3 into c2 a1 minus c1 a2 plus c3 into a1 b2 minus a2 b1. So the condition of concurrency for three lines is 
to have the determinant of their coefficients of x, y and the constant terms to be 0. Another way how you will take one simple example and look into that both with the determinant and also we will solve it with the help of finding out the point of intersection of two lines and substituting it in the third line and see that the third line satisfies the point. If it satisfies that means that all these three lines are concurrent. Let's look at some, let's look at some simple example. We have taken a simple example here. Let us say the equations of the lines are 2x minus y equal to 0, 5x plus 7y equal to 76, 3y minus 5x equal to 4. So let's first without using the determinant form let us see how we can do that. First I have to solve these two equations. I will solve two, these two equations and find out the point of country intersection. Now after that, that I will substitute in the third equation. So first let me go ahead with here. I have y equal to 2x and uh, so I can substitute that in the second one. I can say 5x plus 7 into 2x equal to 76. Now this became a linear equation in one variable. That's nothing but 19x equal to 76. That gives me x equal to 4. If x equal to 4, y equal to 2 into 4, that's nothing but equal to 8. So the point of intersection of these two lines is 4 comma 8. Now what we will do, we will go and substitute this 4 comma 8 in the third. Substituting 4 comma 8 in the third line, that's nothing but 3y minus 5x equal to 4. If these three lines are concurrent, then the third line should satisfy this point. Let's check that whether LHS is equal to RHS or not. So 3 into 8 minus 5 into 4, that should be equal to 4. 3 8s are 24, 24 minus 20 equal to 4, which is correct. So all these three points are concurrent. Sorry, all the three straight lines are concurrent and their point of concurrency is 4, 8. Now how to solve the same problem using determinant representation? What we will do, we will directly go ahead and substitute the values. We know the values. Let's go ahead and substitute the values. We have, I'll write down here, A1 is 2 b1 is minus 1, c1 is 0. You have to have in the form ax plus by plus c, so c will become minus 76. Just remember that. You will have 5, 7, minus 76. After that, you will have minus 5, minus 5x, plus 3y, minus 4. So, the determinant of this matrix should be equal to 0 if all these three straight lines are concurrent. So let's look at this. I will take the first row. So I will start with 2. 2 into I have minus 4 into 7 that is minus 28 minus 3 into minus 76. So can I write it as plus 3 into 76 is 228 simple 2 minus 4 into 7 is minus 28 minus of minus is plus 3 into 76 is 228 after that what I will have 2 into this then I have minus of minus 1 so can I say 1 into if I eliminate that row and that column I will have minus 20 minus into minus is plus again I have to multiply with minus so it becomes minus 380 so this is nothing but equal to 2 into 200 minus 400 that's equal to 0 so we can see that the condition of concurrency is either you can represent in determinant form and you can say the determinant of the matrix formed by coefficient of x, coefficient of y and the constant terms in the general form of the straight line a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0. Should be equal to 0. Determinant should be equal to 0 to if 
all the three lines are concurrent or another way you can find it out is solve for two lines using cross multiplication method or elimination method find out the point of intersection substitute it in the third line you will see that the third line satisfies this particular the point of intersection if all the three lines are concurrent so in the next session we will look into another interesting concept and an example thanks for your time bye for now see you again